Hello guys, this is Bappi Ahmed. Uh, actually guys, uh, today I've been come up with my uh, updated version of uh, library. Uh, actually, I had implemented a library which is Image Seeker. Uh, it's an uh, image classification uh, auto library. Uh, so actually, uh, I had uh, I actually I had implemented this library, okay? And it was my uh, first version of this library and I posted on my LinkedIn and uh, other social media and uh, uh from the people i got uh, lots of like uh, valuable feedback okay and uh, i was thinking like uh, how i can uh, improve more this package okay so i was le i was like just uh, thinking okay uh, then i thought uh, actually uh, instead of just um, cloning the repo okay so if i like uh, uh, improve uh, improve this improve this package more okay so uh, people can use it uh, very easily okay so uh, then like uh, i had uh, updated that project okay actually i was working on that project and uh, recently actually i have implemented a package okay um, my image seeker package so you can see and i have uh, hosted in uh, i have hosted it in uh, the pypy uh, website okay uh, so like uh, from there you can easily install by using pip command okay so now <laughs> uh, you can say this is my first contribution uh, to the this python community or this uh, uh, package community you can say okay and now i can say yes i have uh, also package in this website right and uh, yeah you can see uh, this is my li library uh, so you can easily install okay uh, you can easily install this package by using the just pip command okay so you have to just write pip install image seeker okay so it will automatically download uh, from this uh, pypy website okay so everything i have mentioned okay so as you can see uh, all the description i have added so if you go through that i think uh, uh, there there is a beginner tutorial okay so how can you start with this image seeker and how can you install this image seeker uh, package okay so you can uh, go through that but uh, first of all like uh, uh, let me tell like how we can find this image seeker library okay so if you uh, search on google just a image seeker pi pi okay so if you search that so you will see at the first uh, it will show okay and if you click on that so you can see yes uh, this is image seeker 0.7 actually i have released uh, uh, too many version of that right uh, so that's why like uh, my recent like uh, uh, version is 0.7 because uh, some uh, if you see the release history i mean in this previous one uh, like uh, there were some bug okay so that's why like uh, I have updated this package okay so this is the stable version as of now 0.7 so you can easily download just using that command okay so uh, yes guys uh, this is my uh, uh, package okay so image seeker package and i think you already know what is image seeker if you don't know just uh, briefly uh, uh, just uh, let me uh, talk about briefly okay image seeker is a uh, deep learning image classification library written in python uh, and it is running on top of uh, this machine learning platform tensorflow.cras and it was developed uh, with a focus on enabling the fast experimentation of uh, image classification okay so you can classify any image with uh, any classification model uh, in keras application uh, without uh, writing any lines of code okay so that is great okay so uh, you can solve any image classification problem uh, with any uh, with any data with uh, any uh, classification model uh, presented in Keras application okay so without writing just uh, any lines of code okay that is really amazing so we can like uh, uh, read from there okay why uh, you should use this image seeker and all this stuff uh, so you can see uh, I have compared with the Keras one okay so if you um, want to use this Keras uh, so like for that you have to write a tons of code for that right <laughs> repetitively you have to write uh, this code otherwise like um, you cannot uh, do that okay so yes and uh, if you see uh, this is the keras okay so this is the keras uh, image classification so if you want to do with keras so you can do that and uh, if you don't want to write much code okay so if you see uh, my my package okay which is uh, image seeker so <laughs> you don't have to do anything just you have to install that and you have to just follow three or four steps okay your work will be done so as you can see like uh, first of all uh, for installation of this package okay you, you need to uh, create an uh, virtual environment okay and after creating environment you need to activate the environment okay then uh, you have to just uh, use
use that command for installing my package okay so if you write pip install image seeker it will automatically download um, it will automatically install the uh, uh, i mean uh, this uh, latest one okay uh, on your system so you can see after installing if you just uh, first step okay if you just write uh, img seeker okay in your terminal uh, so then you can see uh, and ui will automatically pop up okay so you can see this is the ui uh, it will pop up automatically on your local host okay so as you can see this is the ui okay so this is the ui interface uh, of my um, package you can say of my library uh, so you don't have to write any code just uh, you have to click some of the button your work will be done okay uh, then uh, if you see like uh, step two what you need to do like uh, you, you just need to click on that get started okay so you will see that kinds of form and you can like uh, configure some of the parameters okay uh, there is a form okay so you can see uh, some of the parameter you need to configure uh, configure for your training and uh, if you just start training so you will see all the log will be here okay and your training will be started so uh, you can see all the log okay so and uh, after training just uh, you need to just press this predict button and it will automatically start predicting okay um and the uh, c <laughs> okay and you don't have to just uh, uh, create any kinds of ui for predicting okay so here uh, each and everything is presented okay so you have to just upload any images and you can start predicting also okay so it is really uh, easy just uh, uh, i mean uh, in four step you can do uh, all this stuff okay uh, so so let's uh, see practically okay so how we can like uh, uh, use this image sql library so first of all uh, let me uh, create a directory a project directory so i have created a project directory okay so you can uh, like uh, create any kinds of uh, project directory anywhere okay and after creating c i've just uh, uh, kept here uh, a data set okay which is a doccat uh, data set okay so if you don't know what is doccat so it, it's an uh, image okay so uh, of dog and cats so you can see uh, here are lots of cats and uh, you can see uh, here are lots of uh, dog you can see okay so now we will just uh, train a model which would be able to classify um, whether an image would be dog or cat okay uh, then uh, we'll see like uh, our model is performing good or not okay so uh, see this is the um, i mean folder uh, folder structure so you have to uh, so you have to decorate like that okay uh, then uh, what you need to do so if you uh, see the tutorial here so first of all just you have to create an virtual environment okay so for that you have to like uh, uh, open up your terminal your anaconda terminal if you open that in anaconda prompt so if you write anaconda uh, here so your uh, uh, prom uh, anaconda prompt will be pop up then uh, what you need to do you just uh, need to just uh, uh, navigate your uh, this uh, folder location with your terminal okay so just uh, i'm going to just navigate that so let me uh, navigate that so if i navigate that yes so uh, now you can see uh, i'm in my project directory uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to just uh, create an environment and uh, i'm going to activate the environment okay so as of now just uh, uh, i've already uh, created an environment okay so let me just uh, active the environment so for that i will write uh, conda activate so i have created an uh, environment uh, Mm, i mean uh, call testing okay so i have activated the environment uh, so if you don't have any virtual environment so you can uh, create using that command and you can just uh, mention any kinds of name here okay it doesn't matter you have to uh, mention the image seeker okay and uh, then you have to activate your uh, environment so i have already activated my environment then what you need to do you just need to install this image seeker package on your uh, uh, on your just uh, uh, on this new new environment okay so for that just i'm going to paste that command and uh, see uh, here you can also copy that or otherwise uh, you can just uh, go there and you can just uh, also copy that okay both will work uh, see uh, I, i'm going to just write here uh, pip install pip uh, install image seeker so if i write that and if i hit enter so you can see uh, it will be automatically start uh, it will be automatically installing all the requirement okay so as uh, as of now you can see i have already uh, done the installation so it is showing requirement already satisfied okay uh, but uh, for you it will take some time okay uh, but your installation would be done okay after installation of the package you uh, you just have to just write one command which is the uh, img seeker 
so if you write img seeker here and if you uh, press uh, enter so you will see uh, and ui will pop up on your uh, local host okay so you can see it is starting and uh, see my uh, browser has automatically open and you can see uh, the ui will pop up okay uh, so uh, as you can see yes uh, this is the ui uh, so this is the like uh, the um, you can see web app of my uh, library okay uh, of this image seeker now what you need to do you just uh, have to just click on this get started okay so if you uh, click on that so you will see um, this uh, form okay now you have to just configure some of the parameter then you can start training okay so let me just configure some of the parameters so for that first of all you will see uh, there is a data con configuration your data and uh, configure your model okay so you have to first of all configure your data then you have to configure your model okay then uh, you can see uh, it is recurring your uh, training da data directory so first of all i will keep my training data directory so if i go to my data folder so you can see this is the training data okay so i will just copy that path and i will just uh, paste it over there okay and uh, now we can see uh, uh, the second one it is uh, recurring the uh, validation directory okay so for that i will just uh, go to the validation uh, folder and i will just uh, copy that path and uh, i will just paste it over there and then uh, you have to define the class okay how many classes uh, how many class are presented in your data set okay so as of now we can see we have seen like uh, we have two classes one is dog and one is cat so i will just uh, write two here okay if i write two here and uh, it will be done and if you have uh, more than two class you can also mention that okay it will uh, it would be based on your data set okay then you have to mention the image size okay uh, that means image resolution with respect to your model actually which model you are going to use so you can uh, get that uh, just uh, you, you can google just uh, if you uh, come to the google and if you search Keras application so you will see uh, there are lots of model okay uh, which is uh, which which are also there okay so you can see all the model are there and uh, if you just uh, open up this Keras application see so you, uh, you can see all the mo model are there okay so if you want to know the specification of this model you just have to click on that suppose I, I, I want to know this ResNet 50 okay so I will click on that and I will see like what is the input shape okay so if I uh, see the input shape so you can see it is 2 to 4 2 to 4 times 3 okay so your uh, image uh, size would be that okay two to four two to four uh, times three okay uh, because uh, this is the resolution of your image with respect to your model okay so you have to like uh, care about that okay then uh, yeah uh, do you want to apply the augmentation technique or not so you can select so as of now i'm going to use uh, data augmentation and uh, you can use the batch size okay you can define also so as of now i'm going to use 16th okay uh, that is fine for me and uh, i'm going to select a model suppose i'm going to select this resnet 50 okay so uh, yes i have selected resnet 50 so i'm going to use this resnet 50 model okay and you can uh, save your model so you just have to like uh, uh, give the name i mean uh, which name you're going to save your model okay so uh, suppose i uh, i have written just uh, resnet 50 okay if i write resident 50 so it will like uh, save the model using that name okay and freezing layers means like if you want to freeze all the layers uh, or not okay so yes as of now i'm going to freeze all the layers because i uh, because i'm using this uh, pretend model okay and uh, optimizer uh, i will use this adam because adam is faster and uh, number of epochs i'm going to uh, like select as of now one okay because uh, it is just a video okay so as of now i'm just i've just kept one epoch okay you can uh, if you want to get good models so you can just uh, increase the uh, epochs as much as possible okay so you will get a good result and uh, you can see like uh, the loss function as of now just i have kept the categorical cross entropy okay uh, so yes uh, for classification it is the uh, good uh, you can say loss function okay and we have selected and now uh, all are done so you don't have to do anything just you have to just uh, uh, start training so if you press that and if you open up your terminal so you, you can see all the models see uh, it is uh, showing uh, loading resnet 50 okay so it is uh, showing all the logs here okay so you can see uh, it has uh, like uh, done okay it has detected your data uh, so guys as you can see uh, it has detected the model and it has applied all the operation which you have selected like uh, freezing layers and prepare your model and uh, this uh, augmentation okay 
and you can see it has automatically detect this uh, sigmoid activation function okay because we have two classes in our data set okay and uh, see uh, and if you have more than two classes so it will automatically detect the softmax okay so you don't have to worry and you can see uh, uh, it is uh, it has found also your images okay i mean how many images are presented in your directory and what are the class c uh, we have two class so it is uh, like uh, giving all the results and you can see also like uh, uh, yes uh, this is the training uh, was going on okay uh, so you can see training has been completed see uh, this is the uh, training result so see this is the results so you can see this is the loss this is the accuracy uh, this is the accuracy and this is the val loss this is the val accuracy okay so as of now uh, i have just uh, trained w with one epoch so it is like a, uh, it is not a good model i can say but uh, i just wanted to show like uh, how you can do that okay so you can like uh, use more number of epochs so your uh, results would be good okay so everything is there okay you don't have to worry and uh, now if you open up see uh, first of all it was loading okay now we can see uh, it has uh, now it has stopped okay and it is uh, giving you uh, uh, and it is giving you the fresh uh, form okay and uh, after training if you see there is a button called predict okay so if you just uh, want to start predicting okay so you just have to click on this predict button uh, so if you uh, click on this predict uh, predict button so you will see uh, this ui okay it will be pop up and you can see uh, uh, this is the prediction uh, i mean the page okay now you can start predicting uh, on top of new images okay so for that you don't have to do anything just here you can see there is a uh, i mean option called upload so if you want to predict so you just have to upload an images suppose i am going to select an images so suppose i have uh, selected uh, that images okay and if i uh, do predict here so you can see it will uh, give the result uh, it is a uh, processing and suppose see uh, it is uh, telling image class uh, is zero okay so what does it mean of zero so if you want to know that just open up your terminal and you can see uh, it is just uh, uh, printing uh, your uh, class i mean class level okay what is the level of your class so you can see uh, cat is zero okay so zero means uh, zero represents the cat and one represents the dog okay and uh, as you can see our model has already predicted it is zero okay that means uh, you can see uh, zero means it is cat okay so you can see uh, it's a cat it is a cat okay so <laughs> yeah it is uh, performing good uh, because uh, and it will uh, it will be like uh, making some mistake for sure because we have just trained with the uh, one epochs okay so if you uh, use uh, more epochs okay so you will you will get a good model okay uh, so yes guys uh, this was uh, all about my uh, library okay and all about my projects and uh, i think you have liked that okay and if you like that just uh, give your valuable feedback so that i can improve more okay and uh, so you can use this image cycle library uh, i mean uh, for classification tasks okay of images and you can like uh, predict any kinds of images you can uh, train any kinds of images okay using that library uh, so just uh, if you want to know how i've written the code okay so you can also see that so if you just click on the uh, on, on this home page so it will uh, take you through my github okay so from there you can learn uh, so how i implemented okay so each and everything uh, are there uh, so you just uh, come here and just explore okay do explore so you will get uh, lots of like uh, uh, information regarding that okay so yes guys uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this video and if you like my um, projects if you like my library so please uh, share it okay and give your uh, valuable feedback so i can improve more okay uh, so thank you so much guys uh, for watching this video and i will see you next time